My name's Jake Mayer, I'm a British mountaineer and adventurer. I've been fortunate enough to speak on one of the, the last few days of the 2019 Hazelmere Festival about my experiences of climbing all around the world, especially including K2, the second highest mountain in the world. So K2 for me came up having climbed Everest when I was 21, thinking what on earth do I do next? How do I top this? For a climber, K2 is, is often referred to as the, the gold medal of mountaineering, and therefore it became a real focus for me for, for over 10 years of my life. In the end, it took three attempts, uh, twice beaten back by various uh, reasons, and then finally making it on the 21st of uh, July 2018, uh, uh, which was which was absolutely incredible. It was it was everything I wanted it to be. It was a, a mixture of elation, of emotion, of relief, of exhaustion, uh, and the end of a ten year odyssey to 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 conquer my own fears as well as try and get to the top, and of course, most importantly, return safely back home. So one of the things that really made a difference for me on this, this third expedition was that I did all of my acclimatisation on a different mountain rather than on K2, because K2 is so dangerous, so risky. And whilst I had an opportunity to try and summit this second mountain called Broad Peak, in the end I decided not to because it took me back to one of my learnings as a, as a young officer uh, in the Army Reserve about the first principle of war, which is the selection and the maintenance of the aim. Ultimately, my aim in Pakistan was to get to the top of and return safely uh, from K2, ultimately not to climb this other mountain. So when it came to making that choice of do I continue on Broad Peak or do I head back down, it was a very easy decision to make. An appreciation of risk is really important in the mountains, but similarly is also the appreciation of learning from failure. Of course, your own from personal experience, preferably from others uh, and putting their lessons into action yourself so that you don't have to make those mistakes or get caught out by it. I think trying to create an environment where you can be safe to fail rather than fail safe is key. That you can, you can make decisions, you can make choices, you can try things out. If it goes wrong, it doesn't matter rather than trying to wrap yourself in bubble wrap because otherwise there would be no point in trying to leave the house at all. So having climbed Everest, the seven summits, the highest point in every uh, state in America, and now K2, my next challenge is doing a little trip around Europe, trying to set a record for the shortest time to climb the highest point in all 50 countries. Our aim is to climb 50 country high points in 50 days, which, yes, is as bonkers as it sounds, but fortune favours the brave. <laughs>